Tonight's episode of Horrified is brought to you by Fright Rags, the greatest and most original officially licensed horror apparel and accessories in the world. Go to FrightRags.com and use promo code AIRYSCOPE10 at checkout and save 10% off your entire order. And now, AIRYSCOPE Pictures presents the original series, Horrified. When you're one of the biggest rock stars in the world, it's safe to say you've seen it all. But for bass player Rudy Sarzo, not even the insanity and debauchery of touring with Ozzy Osbourne was enough to prepare him for a spooky encounter with voodoo spirits that left him feeling kind of scared. No. I know, I know, I know, horrified. Jeez, calm down. <laughs> I was 17 years old living in Miami, and a friend of mine who happened to be a witch doctor invited me to go to a celebration of Santa Barbara, which is basically it's a high voodoo holiday. And uh, I remember walking in, and there's this party going on, and everybody was wearing white. And there was a lady sitting, an old lady sitting in a rocking chair, rocking back and forth in a corner of this home. And on the, at the other end, there was a conga players playing African beats. And she's getting into a trance, and she's getting into a trance, and she's getting deeper, and she's smoking a cigar, drinking agua ardiente, which is basically uh, moonshine, Cuban moonshine. She's drinking it, she's spitting it out, She's puffing and she's getting into a trance. All of a sudden, this lady dressed in white is possessed by an African spirit. And all of a sudden, she's speaking Nyanyigo, which is African language. She gets up and grabs one of the guests in the room, this lady, young lady, takes her to the middle of the room, starts taking her clothes off. Now, she's in a trance. This lady, the one who is possessed by the African spirit, she's all dressed in white, beautiful flowing dress. She's got a headscarf in white. And she's got this cigar, and she starts taking the clothes off of this young woman who apparently had a very bad spirit possess her. And she starts to blow smoke on her all over her body, taking the cigar, basically drawing her silhouette taking a swig of the agua ardiente, spitting it at her, bathing her, cleansing her. And she's completely naked in this room and everybody's joining hands and they're dancing to the beat of the conga drums. And then the lady takes la santera, takes shrubs and starts to despojarla, which is basically getting rid of all the evil spirits. And now she is, they take a, a, a white sheet, wrap it around her, and drag her away. Never to be seen again by me. And I'm, and I'm very, very impressed by this. I say, wow, this is, this is really interesting. Little did I know that I was next. The lady turns to me and starts yelling at me in African. Obviously, something inside of me really scared the hell out of her because then she grabbed my shirt, she ripped it off. Before I knew it, I was in my underwear, standing in the middle of the room, and this woman is blowing cigars rapidly, frantically blowing, blowing cigar smoke at me. See, Arwen got scared. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Arwen. Before I knew it, I was standing in my underwear in this living room surrounded by strangers and the beat of the conga drums started getting louder, more frantic. She's shaking right in front of me, smoking and blowing at me, drawing with my silhouette. And apparently, whatever was inside of me was scaring her because she kept going to the next level. Now, that wasn't enough. Now she grabs shrubs and starts smacking my body with it. And they had thorns, so she was ripping my flesh. And I'm bleeding, I'm standing there, I'm bleeding, I don't even know what's going on. And she's yelling at me in African. I can't understand what she's saying. She grabs the bottle, 
blows at me and bathes me completely. I'm drenched in this moonshine. And apparently the spirit that I had in me was still in there because now she's freaking out. She goes from behind me and she grabs me by my elbows and she picks me right up and she lifts me. And I passed out. I passed out. She drops me to the ground, picks me up up my hair, and I open my eyes and this woman is holding me. And then she says something in African, she throws me to the side. What she was able to tear out of me, I don't know. But I was horrified. Ooh, 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 ooh.